टुडे विल बी गोइंग थ्रू कैम्ब्रिज ओ लेवल मैथमेटिक्स सिलेबस डी पेपर टू फोर जीरो टू फोर पेपर टू वन मे जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द स्पीड्स वी किलोमीटर पर आर ऑफ एटी व्हीकल्स ट्रैवलिंग अलॉन्ग अ रोड वर रिकॉर्डेड दिस इज द टेबल प्रोवाइडेड डेटा इज प्रोवाइडेड calculate an estimate of the mean speed of the vehicles so to calculate um, uh, mean speed to estimate the mean speed we will be checking first this is group data in case of group data we will be checking for the mid range and mid range will be written over here so how we can find the mid range this will be Uh, 40 plus 30, and this will be divided by 2. So we can write this one: 40 plus 30, and this will be divided by 2 will be equal to 35. So mid range of this one will be 35. Similarly, mid range of uh, 40 plus 40 plus 50, and divided by 2 will be equal to 45. and we can calculate this one similarly this will be 55 this one will be 65 and this one will be 75 after calculating this mid range we have to calculate the mean and for the mean we will be using the formula and that formula is mean is equal to sigma fx sigma fx divided by sigma f sigma f so this is our f value and this is our x value basically this is x value so f x we will multiply this with this and then we can uh, take some of those values so we can write f x over here so to uh, take the x value basically f x value we will be we can draw line and this will be Uh, 350 multiplied by 10, so this will be over here. 35 multiplied by 10 will be 350, so f x value will be 350, and next is 45 multiplied by 18, and this will be equal to 810. So 810. Next value is 55. 55 multiplied by 27. and this is equal to 1485 and next will be uh, 65 multiplied by 19 65 multiplied by 19 will be 1 2 3 and next value will be 75 multiplied by 6 and this will be equal to 450 now this is our fx this will be basically f into x so we can write fx and we will have to take some of those values so we can write here this one m will be equal to f sigma fx so 350 plus 810 we are writing these values plus 1485 plus 1235 and plus 450 and this will be divided by sum of uh, uh, f value which is 80 vehicles if we add this we'll get 80 and this one we have to calculate we can calculate these values and fraction it will be 350 plus 810 plus 1485 plus 1235 plus 450 and divided by 80 and this will be resulting to 54.125 54.125 and a rounded answer we can write like approximately 54.1 up to three significant figures so answer will be 54.1 part b draw the cumulative frequency diagram so we can draw this cumulative frequency diagram this table is provided where we have to draw the cumulative frequency and before that one we will add uh, like cumulative frequency we can add over here we can make a column over here and this will be cumulative frequency we can add here cumulative frequency 
and first one will be just 10 as it is then 10 plus 18 will be 28 then 28 plus 27 so we can we can add this 28 plus 27 and this will be equal to 55 this will be 55 then next will be 55 plus 19 which is equal to 74 and 74 plus 6 will be 80 so we can write here 80 this is how we are adding this cumulative frequency table uh, column in this table so first one we have taken as it is then 10 plus 18 28 plus 27 then 55 plus 19 plus 74 plus 6 and this will be 80 now we will be plotting on the given grid this value and basically this upper range we will be taking so 40 and 10 we will uh, we will take 40 on this side over here and 10 will be over here this mark and next is uh, 28 and 18 so 28 and 18 frequency will be 28 and sorry 28 and 50 this one so 50 will be this so 28 will be 20 and 22 4 6 and 8 this one will be our mark and for 60 this will be 55 for 60 50 is this one 52 4 and 55 will be this point and for 70 it is 74 and for 70 this will be 70 over here 72 74 will be this point and for 80 it is 80 so 80 from this side and 80 from this side we can mark this now draw the cumulative frequency diagram after um, identifying these points we'll have to draw the uh, cumulative frequency curve so that will be starting from here we will be drawing a smoother curve like this one we can draw a smoother curve passing through these points and uh, ranging like you can rectify wherever you require but you will have to draw a smoother cum cumulative frequency curve like this one so this is what we have drawn almost smoother curve this is done now use your cumulative frequency diagram to find an estimate for the median median is always the middle value so middle value will be for this one for 40 because this total is 80 so half of 80 will be 40 so we will check the reference from 40 and we can take a reference from here this one and we can take reference from this side this value will be over here which we can take as 40 one two three four so this point is for uh, 54 basically this is 54 so median will be 54 we can provide answer over here which is 54 which is done then they are saying intercartile range intercartile range is upper curtile upper curtile uh, minus lower curtile lower curtile or we can write q3 minus q1 so uh, q3 minus q1 we can write this is upper curtile uh, over lower curtile upper curtile will be 75th percentile so 75th percent of this 80 number we will calculate like this and we can check with the calculator this will be 25 over 100 and multiply by 80 and this will be equal to 20 so for this one this is upper curtile this is upper curtile and lower curtile also we can check lower curtile will be uh, this is basically lower curtile because this is 25th percentile and upper curtile will be 75 percent of 100 which is equal to 80 now we can calculate upper curtile so upper curtile will be 75 over here so 75th percentile will be 60 now this one 60 we will check from here this is the reference for 60 and we can draw this line reference we can draw from here and this will be 60 point 
and from this side this will be the 60 reference which is 62 so we can take take here as 62 and the lower quartile will be 20 so for 20 this will be the reference and we can join uh, this 20 with this curve and this will be up to this one and this will be 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 46 so 50 uh, 62 minus 46 so 62 minus 46 62 minus 46 will be equal to 16 so 62 we can write here basically uh, 62 uh, we can use this so 62 minus 48 and this will be equal to 16 which we have calculated so our answer will be 16 this is done now question number two is transformation question this diagram is provided basically a and b a part describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle a on to b so transformation a on to b this one if we see this is basically the uh, x-axis which is uh, uh, mirror transformation or reflection um, reflection in line uh, x-axis basically so we can write here reflection reflection uh, in line you can say x-axis so this is reflection in the line of x-axis then B part triangle A is mapped onto triangle C by a rotation a rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise about 1 1 we have to draw that triangle the easiest method for this type of rotation uh, question this type of translation questions is to use tracing paper uh, paper I will be using this tracing tracing paper tracing paper is basically allowed in exam you can use tracing paper first of all we will be drawing this uh, coordinate axis after just sketching this uh, coordinate axis rough sketch is required so we can just sketch this one then we have to uh, rotate this one uh, triangle A uh, triangle A will be this one so we can sketch this triangle A now after this they are saying anti-clockwise about 1 1 so 1 1 point is this one so from here anti-clockwise 90 degree we can rotate like this so anti-clockwise 90 degree we will check the coordinate axes are also rotating and this will be here will be 90 degree so we got the rotated triangle and we can mark these points these are basically the points where our new triangle will shift so we can mark these points this one and this one this will be the point this will be the point and this will be the point and we can double check these are the points which we have taken and now we can remove the tracing paper again what we have done we have uh, drawn this axis and rotation uh, this one triangle and rotation is about 1 1 so we put our pencil at 1 1 and rotate this one this is y axis so it should meet to anti-clockwise it should come here at x axis at, and this will be 90 degree over here and this is the new location now we can draw this location by the help of straight edge or ruler and we can draw like this one so this is the easiest way you can do without tracing paper also with the help of a compass also we can draw and for that one basically you will have to take the this point reference and this one this reference for that one you will have to take and rotate it 90 degree up to this and the second point will be over here 
up to this one and this will also be rotated like this one up to this so this is how you can use compass also but the easiest way is by using tracing paper i have explained you both the methods then uh, c part c part is saying triangle a is mapped on to d a is mapped on to d by the single transformation p this is basically the transformation provided describe fully the single transformation p and we can see this is uh, uh, enlargement by if originally this is the matrix which we are using identity matrix and this is these two numbers are multiplied by two so this is scale factor is two so and this is basically enlargement because this is uh, more than one uh, so it will be we can write here enlargement enlargement by scale factor by scale factor 2 and center will be 0 0 so we can write it as center 0 0 this will be the three points which we will have to mention for this question number three we have to rearrange this given equation to make n as subject so first of all we will send this 3 to other side so m plus 3 is equal to 4n and now we have to get rid of this 4 4 we can shift, shift to this side m plus 3 divided by 4 is equal to n so this will be our final answer m plus 3 over 4 this will be our final answer then b part is simultaneous equations we have to Mm, uh, solve this one and find the value of x and y two variables so we can what we can do we can equalize the variable uh, coefficients of uh, x by multiplying this by 2 and equation 1 will be 10x plus 7y is equal to minus 3 second equation will become 10x and minus 2y is equal to 6 now we can subtract and change sign when this sign will be changed now this will be gone cancelled and this will be 7 plus 2 will be 9y is equal to this will be minus 9 and this implies y is equal to minus 9 over 9 which is equal to minus 1 so y is equal to minus 1 this value we got now we can replace this value in any of these two original equations to get value of y uh, value of x so 5x is uh, 5x minus y minus 1 this is y value is equal to 3 we are replacing in the second equation so 5x and minus minus will be plus 1 is equal to 3 5x is equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 so x will be equal to 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 5 means what 2 divided by 5 means 0 0.4 so we can write here 0 0.4 so x value will be 0 0.4 and y value will be minus 1 this will be our um, values uh, solve the equation this equation we have to solve and for that one what we can do we can use this calculator method I will explain this this will be easier mode 5 3 and this equation we can take coefficient of x square as 5 so 5 and this will be 3 so this one and minus 1 will be this and we can take answer so x1 value will be equal to if we take the decimal value this will be 0 0.2385 and the second value will be x2 and decimal value will be x2 will be equal to minus 0 0.8385 these are the values whenever by this method we are getting decimal values you should know that you have to apply um, you should have to apply the quadratic formula so f how we can apply quadratic formula ultimately we will be getting answer this one so we have written this to double check that our answer is correct so this will be like in examination hall when you will be sitting you can solve the question and you can check whether you are getting a correct answer or not 
So A value will be coefficient of x square which is equal to 5, B value will be coefficient of x which is 3 and C value is equal to constant. Now we know the formula, quadratic formula will be x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac root and over 2a. This will be formula which we will be applying. Now we have to just replace the values in this formula and x will be equal to minus b. Always replace values in brackets in quadratic formula so that you will be having lesser chance of doing mistakes. So b square means 3 squared I am putting in brackets. Minus 4 into a will be 5 and c will be minus 1 and divided by 2 into a, a will be 5. Now this is like x1 we can find and we can use calculator for that one and we will be taking plus value first and then we will be taking the minus value so we can write here fraction minus in brackets 3 and plus I'm taking here then next time uh, second value we will be taking minus so root of uh, in brackets 3 squared and minus 4 into 5 into minus 1 and divided by 2 into 5 and this will be resulting 2. You can check this is basically the same value 0 0.23585 uh, which we already got. So we can write here 0 0.2385 and x2 we can find x2 also and x2 will be changing sign this plus will be changed to minus and this plus over here will be changed to minus and we will get the second value and second value also is matching 0 0.835 so minus 0 0.835 this is basically the answer which we got now we can round these answers and this answer we can write x1 is approximately equal to 0 0.24 and x2 will be uh, will be approximately equal to 0 0.8 this will be 0 0.83 or 0 0.84 basically because 5 is changing to this one so this and this will be our answer values we can write over here 0 0.24 minus this will be negative minus 0 0.84 so these two will be our answers so this method will be like you will be using calculator to check the values first and these two values you will be getting by the help of calculator which you can write there at the side of your paper so that you can confirm at the at the end that you are getting same answers and whatever you have done is absolutely correct if you are not getting the matching answers for this one you can double check your values and reconfirm that your calculations are correct question number four Anton invests six thousand dollars in an account for five years this is duration this is principal amount the account has a compound interest rate of this one per year at the end of five years he spends this much amount of his money on a family holiday to Malaysia how much money is left in his account so first of all we will check after five years how much money he will get after this investment and the formula which we will be using will be uh, amount will be compound in case of compound interest amount will be equal to principal amount into 1 plus rate over 100 and raised to the power uh, basically time duration which is t and in this formula we will be replacing the values and p is equal to 6000 so we can write amount is equal to 6000 and into 1 plus rate is 2.5% and time duration is 5 years. So 
to raise to the power of 5 and this will be the amount that person will be receiving after 5 years. Now this calculation will be 1 plus um, fraction 2.5 over 100 and raised to the power will be 5 and this will be the amount which we can write over here which is uh, 6, 7, 6, 7, double eight point four five. so this is the amount now out of this amount he spends four thousand two hundred dollars so uh, remaining amount uh, left in account so money we can write here money left in left in account will be equal to six seven double eight point four five and this will be minus uh, four to four to double zero and we can subtract this amount this will be minus four to double zero and this will be two five double eight so this is equal to two five double eight point four four nine and this one we can round it to two five two five nine zero we can write answer or we can write two five eight eight i'm rounding to this one so this will be two five eight eight dollars three more question just you'll have to apply this formula and then you will have to subtract the spent amount in this B part Anton changes $800 into Malaysian ringgit um, for his trip. The exchange rate is this one. So $800 changed to this one. Keep in mind, dollar is heavier currency and this is lighter currency. So from heavier to lighter currency, we will be multiplying. So $800, $800 multiplied by 3.16. This will give you the amount which he will receive so 800 multiply by 3.16 this will be resulting to 2528 2528 and this is the amount he received now he spends 2250 malaysian ringgit and then uh, changes the remaining money so spent amount so, so we can write remaining remaining amount remaining amount will be equal to uh, 2528 minus this much spent so double 250 and remaining amount will be this minus double 250 and remaining amount is 278 and this is in Malaysian ringgit so we can write here MYR and then changes the remaining money into dollars and th now we will be moving from uh, lighter currency to heavier currency so in this case we will be dividing by the conversion ratio and exchange rate is this one so um, this will be 278 divided by 3.27 so dollars will be how much this will be divided by 3.27 so this divided by 3.27 will be equal to 85.015 so 85.015 this much dollars and we can round it to 85 this will be our answer over here 85 dollars so you will have to take care of conversion ratios whenever you will have to keep in mind this rule that lighter currency lighter currency to heavier currency to heavier heavier currency lighter to heavy you will be converting and you will be deviant dividing and heavier to lighter will be always multiplication by the conversion ratio so conversion ratio from lighter to heavier will be uh, division and heavier to lighter will be always multiplication
question or uh, same question basically three uh, this is uh, c part anton invest this much amount in another account the account has a compound interest rate of p percent uh, at the end of three years he there is this much in the account calculate the value of p we have to calculate and answer should be at corrected to two de decimal place so this will be the same formula we will be applying which is uh, amount is equal to p into 1 plus r over 100 and this will be t and this will be the formula and in this case we don't have this r value so we can calculate this r value this will be uh, this much is uh, invested amount and this is the amount received so 1598.85 is A value and P value is 1500 and 1 plus R we don't have over 100 and T value is after 3 years so 3 will be here. Now we'll have to make R as subject. To make R as subject first we will shift this 1598.85 divided by this will be coming as denominator on this side and this will be equal to 1 plus r over 100 and whole raised to the power 3 now we can uh, take this one basically we can take on this side cube root and cube root on this side also so this will be cube root will be cancelled with cube this will be cancelled with this one and this side we can write 1 plus r over 100 is equal to cube root of this one 1598.85 divided by 1500 and after that we'll have to shift 1 to this side so r over 100 we can write r over 100 will be equal to when we will shift this so it will be cube root of 1598.85 divided by 1500 and minus 1 so minus 1 over here now we can shift 100 also to this side so r will be equal to um, this this one i'm writing in brackets so this will be 100 multiplied by this this is cube root of this value 1598.85 and divided by 1500 and minus 1 and this will be in brackets basically they are asking for p value so instead of r what we can do uh, we can take p value because their rate is uh, given as p so instead of uh, r we can take it as p so this will be a little a rectification which we can make this will be p value so we can take this one as p so our answer instead of r will be in form of p the rest of everything will be same so we can write here as p this will also be p and this one p this will be p and this one will be also p now we can just calculate this uh, calculation i'll move the page a little above over here so this will be uh, this calculation 100 multiplied by bracket and this will be uh, basically cube root so we'll have to take first the cube root this one and then take fraction and this will be 1598.85 and divided by 1500 and this will be minus 1 and bracket close and this will be resulting to 2.15 so this will be equal to 2.15 up to two decimal places so 2.15 this will be our final answer so what we have done in this question uh, rate was required this rate was required we applied the same formula which we applied in the uh, previous part which is compound interest formula and we calculated p value and making subject p this was 2.15 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अ कंपनी मेक्स अ पैक एंड पैकेजेस चॉकलेट बार्स एंड दिस इज द शेप ऑफ द चॉकलेट बार दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड इट्स हैविंग ट्रायंगुलर फेस सो दिस फेस इज ट्रायंगुलर फेस दिस वन एंड कीप इन माइंड दिस इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल सो वी कैन अप्लाई पैथोग्रस थ्योरम टू फाइंड दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स this box contains a chocolate bar the box in is in the shape of triangular prism uh, show that x is equal to this so we will be using pythagoras theorem and you know pythagoras theorem is what hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus uh, perpendicular square so base squared plus perpendicular square this one so this formula we will be using and we can calculate this so here in this case we don't have perpendicular so hypotenuse is 7.5 so we can write 7.5 square is equal to base square which is 6 squared plus perpendicular square which is x squared now we can find value of x so we can shift this to other side so x square is equal to 7.5 squared minus 6 squared and x will be equal to root of 7.5 squared minus 6 squared and this we can calculate this will be root of uh, 7.5 squared minus 6 squared and this will be equal to 4.5 which we needed to prove over here they have they had they have asked us to show that this is 4.5 which we have already shown this will be basically centimeters b part these boxes are packed into cartoons each cartoon is a cuboid cuboid with internal dimensions these are the internal dimensions 80 boxes fill one cartoon exactly calculate the value of h so 80 80 boxes fill one cartoon so we'll have to check we can from here we can write that volume of uh, volume of volume of this uh, 80 boxes is equal to volume of 80 box boxes is equal to volume of uh, cartoon so this one this is exactly equal so we can draw basically the cuboid and this one we can draw like this one it's not uh, it's like a so we can draw cuboid like this one so this side is 80 uh, sorry 30 so this side is 30 and this side is 28 and h we have to find so we can uh, there are like 80 boxes these 80 boxes are exactly fitting in this so volume of these 80 will be how much volume of one will be base uh, this is triangular uh, face so face area will be how much face area will be 1 by 2 into base which is 6 into height height we found is 4.5 which we have calculated in the previous part so 4.5 this will be face area multiply by length so multiply by 14 this will be uh, of uh, uh, volume of this one piece so this one piece will be uh, there will be 80 pieces so we will multiply this by 80 is equal to volume of this one which is 30 into 28 multiply by h this one this is our equation now we have to just find the value of h we will make h a subject so this one i will write 0 0.5 half so 0 0.5 6 into 4.5 into 14 into 80 and divided by this will be 30 into 
28 and now we can use calculator to find this and this will be a fraction 0 0.5 into 6 into 4.5 into 14 into 80 and divided by 30 into 28 and the answer is 18 so this will be equal to 18 answer will be 18 this is basically centimeters height will be in centimeters this is done then uh, second part one day the company packs this many of these boxes into cartoons how many complete cartoons are packed that day so the given uh, this number 37500 we can divide it by 80 because there are 80 uh, cartoons in the 80 boxes in one cartoon so we can divide this and we can check this number 37 uh, fraction 37500 and divided by 80 will be equal to 468.75 and the answer they are saying how many complete the requirement is how many complete cartoon so complete cartoon will be this one so rounded value will be 468 and we can write for the complete cartoons will be 468 this will be incomplete so we left that one so this will be our final answer that is done C part the company sells the chocolate bars to shops for this price each bar so company makes 40 percent profit on each bar it sells work out the cost to the company of uh, producing each bar so cost we have to uh, calculate this is reverse percentage question in which cost price we have to find and selling price price is provided let us suppose that X is the uh, cost price and 40% they are taking profit so we can directly calculate basically uh, we have to calculate the cost so we can calculate cost we can directly take 140% this uh, if it is like uh, profit then we will be taking 100 plus that amount if it is uh, uh, loss then we will be taking 100 minus whatever amount so in this case because this is profit so 100 and plus 40 so 140 percent is equal to this cost price which is 0 0.70 dollars now we can calculate um, this will be x we can make subject so 0 0.70 and multiply by this will be 100 and divided by 140 and we can calculate this this will be 0 0.70 multiply by 100 and divided by 140 this will be giving us 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 will be answer to this part uh, b part the shop uh, buys a carton of chocolate bars and we know that uh, cartoon is uh, containing 80 bars from the previous sections they sell 3 by 5 of the bars so now 3 by 5 of the bars we can calculate 3 by 5 of 80 will be equal to 3 by 5 of 80 will be 3 over 5 of 80 will be equal to 48 so these are like 48 bars at a profit of 30 percent so profit on these bars we can calculate so this will be um, cost price is this one 0 0.70 and 30 percent is the profit so we can calculate 0 0.70 30 uh, percent of this one will be this and this will be equal to this will be profit on one uh, this bar so this will be 0 0.70 multiply by yeah so we can calculate this is 0 0.70 multiply by 30 and divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.21 so each bar will be sold on profit of 0 0.21 
and there are 48 bars so this is basically profit uh, on one bar and this will be total profit on 48 will be 48 multiplied by 0 0.21 and this will be multiplied by 48 and this will be equal to uh, 10.08 so this is 10.08 is profit on 48 bars now remaining bars are uh, this they sell e each of the remaining bars at this price so remaining bars will be how many 80 minus 48 will be equal to 32 this will be the remaining bars remaining bars will be this much 32 and these 32 will be sold at a price of this one so profit profit on this we can make a line over here so that we can distinguish between this so profit will be equal to uh, profit on each bar will be 0 0.7 uh, 0 point uh, basically it's sold at 0 0.84 minus this one 0 cost price which is 0 0.70 and this will be equal to 0 0.14 and this will be multiplied by 32 so 32 into 0 0.14 will be equal to 32 multiplied by 0 0.14 is equal to 4.48 so 4.48 will be profit on this and 10.08 will be profit on these so total profit we can write here total profit is equal to 10.08 plus 4.48 is equal to this is 4.48 plus 10.08 is equal to 14.56 this will be profit and this profit is against how much investment which is cost price is 0 0.70 and 80 so this is basically costs is equal to this much so we can calculate uh, 0 0.70 multiply by 80 and this will be equal to 56 so 56 was invested amount and this was the profit so it is for for percentage we can calculate i will move the page a little above so that you can see this this is basically the costs which we have calculated this is profit on uh, this is uh, the cost price of one and this is 80 uh, 80 bought so this will be 56 will be the total cost and this is the profit on all the 80 uh, uh, basically bars so 14.56 is profit against 56 and this will be multiplied by 100 to calculate the percentage profit this will be percentage profit is equal to this one and we can calculate with the help of calculator and this will be 14.56 over 56 and multiply by 100 and this will be resulting to 26 this is 26 percent basically answer will be over here 26 percent hopefully you understood this question number six this is a graph question the table shows some values for this equation and only this value is missing which we can calculate and we have to replace 3 as x so y will be equal to 3 cube over 4 minus 3 plus 1 so this will be 27 over 4 we can use calculator for this so it will be 27 over 4 and minus 3 plus 1 is equal to uh, 4.75 so 4.75 will be the value which we can uh, write over here this will be 4.75 then they are saying uh, part one is complete the table which we have done then they're saying draw the graph of this the same equation from minus 3 to 3 and they have provided us this uh, grid over here which is uh, 
x value from minus 3 to 3 and we will be plotting these values first one value is minus 3 and minus 2.75 so minus 3 and minus 2.75 minus 2 here and 2.5 will be this one 2.75 will be in the middle of this so we can mark over here second value is minus 2 and 1 so minus 2 is this one and uh, minus 2 is this one and one value is plus 1 so one value will be this and then third value is minus 1 and min and 1.75 minus 1 and 1.75 1.5 this one and 1.75 will be this point then uh, 0 and 1 0 and 1 will be this point and then it comes to 1 and 0 0.25 so 0 0.5 is this so 0 0.25 will be in the middle over here then 2 and 1 2 and 1 will be this point and 3 and 4.75 4.75 will be this point so we got the points we have uh, drawn this one and now we have to basically draw this after indicating these points we have to draw this a smoother curve which we can draw to draw smoother curve we can rotate the page according to our convenience so we will be drawing it curved smoother curve like this so we can draw smoother curve like this one and this will be turning to this side passing through this one and then it has to reach over here so this will be curving to this position so we can erase the this side so this is done we can we can draw this properly over here this is our line smoother curve we are able to draw this now we can complete this side as well to draw this side we will be drawing like this so this is smoother curve you cannot use scale for this one or ruler for this one so this is uh, further you can uh, rectify if you require you can uh, rectify and make a more smoother curve if you want a curve like this so this is done after plotting this curve on the next page they are saying on the same grid draw the graph of this one now we'll have to uh, draw the graph of uh, this now in the given equation we can replace this is this is equation of line and so we can replace x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 y will be equal to 1 y will be equal to 1 and point will be 0 and 1 and at at y is equal to at y is equal to 0 y is at y is equal to 0 x will be equal to this will be 0 so this one will be minus 1 and minus 3 so y x will be equal to minus 3 how we can we can solve this like 0 is equal to 1 by 3 x plus 1 so 1 we can shift to other side so minus 1 is equal to x over 3 this implies x is equal to minus 3 so our point will be 0 and minus 3 so this point and this point we will draw and join these two points this will be the straight line so 0 and 1 0 and 1 will be 0 and 1 will be this point and the second point is um, 0 and minus 3 so 0 and minus 3 will be this point if we check our point this will be 
y is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3. So our point will be minus 3 and 0. So this will be minus 3 and 0. The other point will be minus 3 and 0 will be this point. So we'll be joining these two points and we can rotate the page and one point is this one second point is this one so we can draw the line like this now we are we have drawn this line Th this is intersecting one two and three points and these points of intersection they will be asking for in next part use your graph to find all the values of x where this and this cross so these x values basically we have to uh, identify first value will be over here if you check this will be over here we can identify this point is 2.1234 so 2.4 minus 2.4 so first point will be x is equal to minus 2.4 and the second value which we can check from the graph is um, 0 this one is 0 so we can provide x value as 0 and the third value which we will get from the point of uh, intersection of the graph will be this point and we can check the reference from here which is 2.12345 so 2.5 will be the third value which we can provide over here 2.5 and the, this part is done C part the values of X where this one crosses this one or the solutions of equation AX cube plus BX given that A and B are integers find A and B for this one we can equalize the given equations like uh, X cube over 4 minus x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 1 and the, this one we can shift to other side uh, and uh, we can shift everything to this side so it will be x cube over 4 minus x plus 1 minus 1 by 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 this will be cancelled with this and this will be x cube we can uh, write x cube is x cube over 3 over 4 minus 1 over 3x is equal to 0 we can multiply uh, both uh, the whole thing with 12 so so that we can get rid of th uh, this 4 and 3 so it will be 12 into x cube over 4 minus 12 into 1 over 3x is equal to 0 and this will be 4 3s are 12 and 3 4s are 12 so our final equation will be 3x cube minus 4x is equal to 0 now we can shift this to x to other side to to get the format of this one 3x cube is equal to 4x so a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 these are the two values um, which we can get basically we missed x over here so we can write here minus x is equal to 0 and now we can uh, rectify uh, this step we can uh, rectify this step so if we rectify this one so this one we can Now if we rectify this is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 4 by 3 so it will be minus 4 by 3x uh, is equal to 0 and we are multiplying by 12 so if we multiply by 12 this will be 4 so 4 4 are 16 this will be 16 x square and this one also 16 this will be answer will be 16 so a value will be 3 b value will be 16 over here hopefully you understood this as well question number uh, same question b part here are four equations one two three and four equations are provided 
the graphs of three of these equations are sketched below. Write the correct equation below each graph. We can easily identify these uh, equations. If we, if we check this equation, y is equal to 2x square. If we replace x is equal to 0, this implies y is also equal to 0 and there will be no other solution, only one solution. These two equations are having two solutions, two points of intersection with x-axis. So this equation is definitely for this one. So we can write uh, y is equal to 2x squared. This will be for this. Now this is having uh, two solutions. But uh, for this one, if we replace, for example, um, x is equal to 0 in this, x is equal to 0 y will be x is equal to 0 y will be equal to some uh, like minus 2 so minus 2 is only this one so this is basically x is e for x is equal to 0 y is minus 2 so this is for x is equal to 0 y is 0 so this equation will be for this graph y is equal to 2x squared minus 2 now if we check for the third graph this is having two solutions and one of those solutions is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. And that will be only uh, this equation, if you check, uh, the third one will be this equation, uh, this one, x square minus 2x. If you check this, we can uh, show this one, y is equal to x square minus 2x. If you if we put y is equal to 0 x we can take common so it will be x minus 2 so we will be having x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 these two solutions we will be having and this is 0 this is 2 so that's why this equation will be for this one y is equal to x square minus 2 x will be for this one hopefully you understood this question number 7 diagram is provided which is not to scale the diagram shows a quadrilateral and part of a regular octagon. AB is straight line. AB is straight line from an equation in X and solve it to form an equation in X and solve it to find X. So in this diagram, if we, we know that this is regular octagon, a regular octagon mean having all angles and sides equal. This is 135. So this angle will also be, uh, this angle will also be 135 degrees. And this is a AB is a straight line as it is mentioned. So this remaining angle will be 180 minus 35, 135. So this angle will be 45 degrees. This working we can write in a step and we can write that, uh, uh, this we can take it as a b c and d so we can write angle d c b angle d c b is equal to 180 minus 135 degrees which is equal to 45 degrees this is how we got this step now we have one two three four all the angles of this uh, quadrilateral and we know that the angles of a quadrilateral are adding up to 360 degree so we can write as uh, we can write this as 3x we'll start from here 3x plus 103 plus 103 plus this one x plus 20 plus this 45 should be equal to 360 degrees so now we can add this all and this will be 3x plus x will be 4x i'll move the page above so this one so 4x 4x and this will be 103 plus 20 hundred and three plus twenty uh, plus forty five this will be equal to one sixty eight so plus one sixty eight is equal to three sixty degrees four x is equal to three sixty degrees minus one sixty eight degrees and this will be equal to 
we can subtract this from 360 minus answer will be equal to 192 so 4x is equal to 192 so x will be equal to 192 divided by 4 and 192 divided by 4 will be equal to 48 so this will be 48 in degrees so x value will be 48 degrees hopefully you understood this so in this question what we have done basically we we have uh, identified this regular octagon so this angle will also be equal to this one all angles will be equal so this is 135 if this is 135 this will be 45 and then these all four angles will be adding up to 360 degrees b part circle theorem is provided which is not to scale p q r s and t p q r s and t are points on the circumference of a circle center o p s q p s q is 32 and o lies on t q so o t q is with diameter p s is parallel to p s is parallel to q r these two arrows are showing that these are parallel and q r is equal to r s this one find p q t p q and t now p q t we have to find basically we require p q t means we require this angle so we know this triangle this triangle is triangle in a semicircle and this is right angle triangle and this right angle triangle mean this will be 90 degrees and we can find this angle on this segment pq this is top angle t and similarly this will also be top angle so these two top angles will be equal to each other so we can write this angle as 32 degrees so if this is 32 degree this one is 90 degree so this will be 90 minus 90 minus 32 degrees and 90 minus 32 90 minus 32 will be 58 degrees so this angle is 58 degrees we can write here and give a reason for each step of your working so we can mention over here uh, the steps which we want uh, we can mention we can write first of all p q t angle is equal to uh, 58 degrees this one we can mention and we can mention p t q p t q is angle p t q is equal to 32 degrees and this is uh, top angle or angle in the same segment so angle in the same segment we can write over here and then the second thing which we can ang uh, show is t p q which is 90 degree so angle t p q is equal to 90 degree uh, triangle in a semicircle or angle in a semicircle we can write here angle in a semicircle this will be our reason and the third reason is angle pqt which is 58 angle pqt is equal to 58 degrees and this will be angle angles of a triangle add up to 180 degree so angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so p 
PQT answer will be over here at the proper location. This is three marks question. Then next part they are saying find QRS angle QRS. We will check where is QRS. Q is this one QRS. So this angle is required. This angle is required. For this one, we can see this line is parallel to this line and this is the line which is intersecting this. So this angle is equal to this angle. So this will be 32 degrees and this these two sides are equal. Their opposite angles will also be equal. This is 32. So this angle will also be 32 degrees. And the remaining angle, this one will be 180 minus this adding these two will be 64. So 180 minus 64. So we can write here 180 minus 64 is equal to 116. And this is equal to 116 degrees. Our, our answer will be over here at the proper location 116 degrees. Then we have to um, find angle TQS. TQS. T is this one, Q is this one, and S is this one. So this angle is required. For this we can identify that uh, P, Q, R, and S. This is cyclic quadrilateral. This one is cyclic quadrilateral. So opposite angles should add up to 180 degree, this, this angle and this angle. So these two opposite angles must add up to 180 degree. So this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle. These should add up to 180 degree. We have all the other sides except this one. So we can find this angle. We can write 180 minus 32 and 32 will be 64. So we can write here 64 and we can subtract these two angles also. This will be 90. So minus 90 as well. And this will be equal to, we can check this 180 minus 64 minus 90 is equal to 26. So this angle will be 26. This angle will be 26. Now we can provide answer over here, which is 26 degrees. This is done. Question number 8A part. Sector is provided um, which is not to scale and the question is a display notice is made by removing a sector of a of a, a angle from a larger sector. Both sectors have an angle of 110. The radii of the sectors are 80 and 45. So this side is 80. This uh, radius is 80 of bigger size and this one is 45. Calculate the length L. So this length of the sector we have to calculate and length of the sector formula we know is L is equal to theta over 360 into um, 2 pi r, 2 pi r. This will be the length formula which we will be applying and now we can replace these values. So L is equal to, L is equal to theta is 110 over 360 degrees and this will be multiplied by 2 pi and radius we will take the bigger radius which is 80 degrees uh, 80 centimeters and now we can multiply this one by uh, like 110 over 360 into 2 pi will be this one and multiply by 80 this will be resulting to uh, 440 over 9 pi or decimal value will be 153.153.5889 approximately we can write 154 so our answer will be 154.
Now, second part, they're saying calculate the area of this display notice. We have to calculate the area of this uh, shaded region. So, area of the shaded region, uh, what will be our strategy? Our strategy to solve this question will be we will find this complete bigger uh, sector area and then we will find this smaller sector area and we will get, um, subtract smaller sector area from the bigger circle, uh, bigger sector. So, this is the, uh, we can find area, this is the basically length. So, we can find area of a sector will be equal to theta over 360, 360 degrees into pi r squared. This will be area of the sector formula and we will be applying this formula and this will be, first we'll apply on the bigger circle. So, area of bigger, um, bigger uh, um, sector will be equal to theta which is 110 divided by 360 110 divided by 360 into pi and r squared will be 80 squared because the radius of the bigger will be 80. Now we can calculate this one 110 over 360 and multiply by 2 pi into 80 squared. So it is squared. This will be area, and this is uh, one double two eight seven. So this is one double two eight seven point one two. So this is the rounded answer. Then we can find area of the smaller one. So smaller sector will be equal to uh, one hundred and ten over three sixty because angle is same. And for the smaller sector also into pi and r will be 45. So, 45 squared we can take this. So, this will be, will be just changing over here as 45 and rest of the things will remain same. So, it will be equal to 388, 388.7.720. Or seven two. Otherwise, we we'll write seven to zero. Now we can calculate the shaded area. Shaded area will be bigger area minus smaller area. So this will be. We can write here. Shaded area will be equal to one double two eight seven point one two minus three double eight seven point seven two zero, and we can subtract. This number is already there, so we'll write this number one double two eight seven one double two eight seven point one two minus answer will be equal to eight three um, eight three double eight uh, eight three double nine. So. There was a calculation mistake, so we can recalculate this calculation. So, 110 over 360 multiply by pi and multiply by 80 squared. This will be equal to this one and we can write it as 6143. So, 6143. Uh, point five five. This will be um, calculation. Now this one also we can rectify. This will be uh, forty five over here, and this will be equal to one nine four three point. So it will be one nine four three point eight six. New calculation, and now shaded part will be this minus this so it will be 6143.55 minus 1943.86 and if we subtract this one this is already there on the screen so we can write 6143.55 minus answer and minus there is answer over here so this will be four one 
4199.68 and we can we can write the rounded answer as 4000 4200 4200 will be centimeter square b part the diagram shows a display notice mathematically similar to the cone in part a the radius of the larger sector is 32 calculate area of uh, this display notice so uh, volume area basically we have to calculate the area of the of this display notice so for that one we can check this is the previous drawing which we were having so this side was 80 now this side is 32 we can check the ratio for this one 80 divided by 32 this is the ratio and this will be k value and this will be equal to we can calculate this 80 divided by 32 will be equal to 5 by 2 so this is 5 by 2 now we can uh, for area for area we will be using k square so k square will be equal to double of this one will be 5 by 2 squared and for area conversion we know area of uh, this shaded part which we calculated was 4200 so 4200 divided by this conversion 4200 so divided by 5 by 2 whole square and this will be area of a smaller display node so this will be equal to we can calculate this this will be 4200 4200 divided by uh, 5 5 over 2 and this one we have to take square of it and this will be equal to 672 so 672 this will be centimeter square and 672 will be answer over here hopefully you understood this then question number nine is tree diagram this tree diagram huge tree diagram on whole page is provided over here and we have to answer this question the big uh, the bag sorry contains 10 tiles each uh, there are four red tiles x y tiles and the rest are the blue tiles then two tiles are taken at random without replacement this is important without replacement from the bag so complete the tree diagram this is our first draw and this is second draw so first tile when we will take this will be first draw it can be red white or blue and they have provided us the uh, probability for these and second tile is this one they have provided the probabilities for all this and this is uh, uh, these two are the blanks which we have to fill so uh, first tile for this route we will take this route this will be blue one blue tile is gone in first trial and so at this stage there is no red tile gone so it is still four red tiles four but one blue tile is gone which is not replaced so now total is not 10 total is 9 one less than 10 so it will be 4 over 9 then we can uh, calculate the white also white are x tiles so for this route only blue is gone x is not gone so we can write x over 9 as well then they are saying calculate the probability that both tiles are red for both red we can take this root this red and this red so we will multiply this with this and we will get the probability for both tiles to be red which is 4 by 9 4 by 10 multiplied by 3 by 9 which is equal to 12 over 90 and the probability will be 12 over 90 this will be answer now in the c part they are saying show that the probability that the tiles are both the same color same color tiles 
probability is this one which we have to uh, now same color tiles what are the different possibilities we will be checking so it can be red red it can be white white or it can be blue blue only three options are available so we can write red red option and white and white option and blue and blue option so these two uh, three are the four. now for red and red this will be this into this so we can write 4 over 10 into 3 by 9 and this one will put in brackets and then for white white it will be this one multiplied by this one x by 10 into so x over 10 into x minus 1 x minus 1 over 9 so x minus 1 over 9 this one also will put in brackets and blue blue will be this one and this one will be multiplied so 6 minus x over 10 6 minus x over 10 into the second one will be 5 minus x over 9 so we can write here 5 minus x over 9 now we have to uh, add these uh, different options so show that the probability that the tiles are both the same color is this one so now we have to just add this and reach to this one so this will be 12 over this will be 12 over 90 and this will be x into x minus 1 this into this will be x squared and minus x over 90 and this will be 6 into 5 will be 30 6 into minus x will be minus 6x and minus x into 5 will be minus 5x and minus x into minus x will be plus x squared and divided by this will also be 90. Now we can we can take uh, we can add them so denominator is 90 we will write here 90 and this will be 12 and plus x squared minus x and plus this will be 30 minus this will be 11 x and plus x squared and we can simplify further so this will be um, 42 we can uh, combine these two so this will be 42 and x square can be combined as 2x squared x square and x square and this will be minus 12x divided by 90 and we can rearrange and take two common so it will be x squared and minus 6x and plus 21 this will be or as numerator and denominator will be 90 this 2 we can cancel with this this will be 45 and our final answer we can write here x square minus 6x and plus 21 over 45 if we check this is same as this one so hence we are done with this the probability the tiles are both the same is this one now this is equal to this one show that this is equal to 0 so we can equalize this x squared minus 6x plus 21 over 45 is equal to 16 over 45 we can cancel these two and this can be written as x squared minus 6x plus 21 is equal to 16 if you are worried about this one you can send this 45 to other side it will go as numerator and then you can cancel otherwise you can cancel like this as well not an issue now we can shift the 16 to the side so it will be x square minus 6x plus 21 minus 16 is equal to 0 and this can be written as x square minus 6x and plus this will be 5 is equal to 0 which is same as this one now we have to solve this equation and to solve this equation we can use the quadratic formula and uh, or we can check for mode 5 3 coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of x 
x square is 1, x is minus 6, and constant value is 5. So if we replace, we'll get 5 and 1. So we can write down the this one uh, solution for this one. So it will be uh, x minus 5 and x plus 1 if we write like this. So x into x will be x squared. So x into 1 will be plus x. So this will be basically this should be minus over here. Then this will be equal to 0. And we can write one more step because this is two mark question. So we can write x into x minus 1 and minus 5 into x minus 1. This will not be, this will be ensuring, these two steps will be ensuring that you will get two marks. So x is equal to x minus 5 is equal to 0 and this implies x is equal to 5 and x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So 5 and 1 will be the answer. Then there are more red tiles than the white tiles in the bag. Find the probability that the first tile taken from the bag is blue. As it is mentioned in the in the question that there are more red tiles, more red tiles than white tiles. So x value is 1 and 5. So more red tiles than white tiles. So we cannot take x value 5 because otherwise white will be more. So we can take x only 1. So if we take x1, then blue tiles will be um, probably the first tile taken is blue. So for blue, it will be x6 minus x over 10. So 6 minus x over 10. So we will replace x is equal to 1. So it will be x minus 1 over 10. This will be equal to 5 over 10, which is equal to 1 by 2 or 0 0.1. 5 or even we can write answer as 5 over 10. This will be our final answer. Question number 10. Diagram is again not to this not to scale. This is a diagram provided. A, B, C, D is a field with A, B is equal to 750. A, B is equal to 750 and um, B, C is equal to 600 meter. B, C is equal to 600 meter. And then they are saying inside the field is a state path AC. AC is state path of length 800 meters and DAC, DAC is equal to 90 degree. Show that angle ACB, ACB. This angle ACB is equal to, this angle we have to show is equal to 62.9 degrees this one we have to show correct to one decimal place so correct to one decimal place we have to show so we have all three sides we can apply cosine rule so we we know this one uh, opposite side so we can take 750 square so we will write the formula cosine rule you should know this one a b squared is equal to uh, AC squared plus BC squared minus 2 into AB into uh, AC into cos of ACB cos of ACB this will be basically the cosine rule which we have applied over here and AB square a B square we have taken 750 square is equal to A C square which is 800 squared plus B C squared which means 600 squared minus 2 into 800 into 600 into cos of angle A C B or we can write here cos theta so I will write here cos theta so this will be 750 uh, minus we can write here minus 800 square minus 600 square I'm shifting this to the side and this will be uh, equal to minus 2 into 800 into 600 and cos theta so cos theta will be equal to this whole thing which is 750 minus 800 squared minus 600 squared divided by this one minus 2 into 800 
into 600 and this will be cos theta which this implies theta is equal to cos inverse of this whole value which is 750 uh, 750 will be squared also so we missed square we can write here squared so 750 squared minus 800 squared minus 600 squared divided by minus 2 into 800 into 600 and this calculation the whole calculation we will solve in one go we can take shift cause of fraction 750 squared minus 800 squared minus 600 squared and divided by minus 2 into 800 into 600 and bracket will be closed and this will be equal to 62.88 so theta will be equal to 62.88 and but they need in one decimal place so approximately 62.9 this will be uh, correct to one decimal place so one decimal place we can write like this one then b part the area of the field is this much so area of the field is provided this and we have to find the ad ad is this side so we have to calculate ad strategy for solving this question will be this is basically four mark question so total area is provided for these two triangles we have dimensions for this triangle so we can find area of this ABC so what we will do we will find area of this tr shaded triangle which is ABC by the formula and after finding this area we will subtract that area from this given area so we will get area of this white triangle and we will use area of this white triangle to find uh, this side so first formula which we'll be using will be half into a b sin c this will be basically area formula area of a triangle formula which we will be applying on this shaded triangle and this will be 1 by 2 into area will be equal to 1 by 2 into a b we can take 800 and 600 800 and 600 sine of angle 62.9 62.9 and now we can check for this one with the calculator so over here this will be 0 0.5 into 800 into 600 into sine of uh, 62.9 and this will be equal to this much area 213651.073 this will be area for uh, this shaded triangle so area of uh, uh, triangle 1 we can say area of ABC so area of ABC will be this one now area of ADC area of a triangle ADC will be equal to this much area given 375000 minus 213651.073 so this will be equal to we can we have this this number on calculator screen so we'll type this one 375 triple zero minus answer will be equal to this one one six one three four nine I'm rounding to this one and then this is basically the area and uh, we can now apply this base uh, this is right angle triangle so area for this one will be equal to area of the triangle will be equal to um, uh, half into base into height so b into h b uh, we don't have which is ad and area we have which is this one and height also we have which is 800 so we replace uh, the values in this formula 
and this will be equal to area is this one one six one three four nine is equal to one by two into base which is a d into h which is 800 so this is 800 this will be cancelled as this will be 400 so 400 we can shift to this side so a d will be equal to 161349 divided by 400 and this will be equal to this area 161349 divided by 400 so this will be resulting to 403.37 403.37 and we have to uh, we can round this basically up to one decimal place 103.3 so 40403.3 will be the final answer basically this one will be the length of this ad then they are saying calculate ACD. ACD will be ACD will be this angle. So ACD will be this angle. This is required. And this side now we have just calculated 403.3. Now we can use this side and we can use basically trigonometry also and our uh, triangle if we roughly draw the right angled triangle which is this one so this side is 800 and this side is 403.3 and basically this theta is required this is c and this is a and this one is d so we can write opposite this will be opposite opposite over adjacent will be uh, tan theta so tan theta will be equal to tan theta will be equal to ad over ac ad over ac which is equal to 403.3 divided by 800 so theta will be equal to tan inverse of 403.3 over 800 and this will be equal to we can calculate this um, this will be tan inverse shift tan of uh, values 403.3 over 800 and this will be equal to 26.7 26.75 and we can write around it and answer as 26. Point uh, 8 26.8 then x is the point on dc x is the point this is x on dc uh, and ax is equal to ax is equal to 500 meters calculate obtuse angle axc axc we have to calculate the easiest approach for this question is this is adc which is uh, the same uh, triangle which we had uh, uh, used in the previous question so this angle we found is 26.8 26.8 degrees and this angle we need to find so we can use sine rule this over this and the rule is what sine of uh, uh, sine a sine a sin a over a will be equal to sin b over b like this one so we can uh, use this rule for uh, uh, this triangle so this will be sin of sin of 26.8 divided by the opposite will be 8 uh, 500 this over 500 will be equal to sine of this x sine of x divided by 800 opposite is this one so 800 we will be using this so sine x will be equal to sine x will be equal to 800 we can shift to other side so 800 into sine of uh, uh, 26.8 over 500 this one and now we can shift sine also to other side 
and if we shift sine to the other side so x will be equal to sine inverse of 800 into sine of 26 point mm, 26.8 over 500 and this one we will be calculating so if we calculate this this will be sine inverse of uh, 800 and in to multiplication this will be sine of uh, 26.8 uh, over 500 and then bracket will be closed and this will be equal to 46 point this is equal to 46.17 but we need to find the obtuse angle so uh, obtuse angle to find the obtuse angle so sine we know is positive in first in this uh, quadrant so this will be this angle will be uh, 46 so we can take this angle as 46.17 degrees and this this angle we can take or we can take 180 minus this angle so it will be uh, 180 180 minus 46.17 and this will be equal to for obtuse angle we'll be do doing this so 180 minus answer will be equal to 133.82 so our answer will be 133.8 we can write here 133.8 this will be our final answer we are done with the paper hopefully you understood each and everything and subscribe maths tv also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos and also recommend this channel to your respected teachers and introduce this channel to your friends and class fellows also thank you very much very much for watching take care bye